A 10 mark question typically requires you to draw on content from multiple topics within Unit 3 and 4. 10 marks is a decent portion of the total marks awarded for both SACs and exams, so it is important to be able to answer these questions correctly. A 10 mark question relevant to Area of Study 2, Unit 3, is to find the term corporate culture. Identify and explain three performance indicators that might suggest an organisation has a positive corporate culture. Identify the management style you believe would be most conducive to developing a positive corporate culture. Provide a detailed analysis to support your choice of style. As this is a question with multiple parts, it is important to break it down so as to ensure the question is understood and therefore able to be correctly answered. This can be done firstly by highlighting the doing words of the question, which outlines what exactly you are required to do in your response. These include define, identify, explain and provide. It is important to know the meanings of these terms if you are to successfully answer the question. Secondly, students could underline the key terms of the question, which will form the basis for your response. These include corporate culture, three performance indicators, positive corporate culture, conducive and detailed analysis. Each of these words or phrases should be addressed within your response, as they will form the foundation of the marks awarded. Finally, students should identify what the joining word is by circling it. In this case, AND is the joining word, meaning that students are required to address all areas of the question in their response to gain full marks. Acknowledging these aspects on the question and marking them on the page can go a long way in ensuring your response is precisely answering the question. In a 10 mark question, it is essential that it is properly structured using paragraphs so that it is clear to read for assessors, easily understood and grammatically correct. It is crucial to look at the marking scheme to determine what will be awarded marks and therefore what should be included in the response. Looking at this question, it could be interpreted that one to two marks will be awarded for the correct definition of corporate culture and briefly listing the benefits of a positive corporate culture. Three marks for correctly identifying and explaining three relevant KPIs. One mark for the correct identification of a conducive management style, participative or consultative. One mark for correctly outlining the style three to four marks for the detailed analysis of why the style will assist in a positive corporate culture. It should be considered that a failure to identify correct KPIs and or management style might result in no marks being awarded for that section, regardless of a correct explanation. Answering this question could be approached in multiple different ways. An example is by firstly defining what corporate culture is and providing an introductory statement. This can make up a small paragraph, acting as an introduction of sorts. For example, Corporate culture refers to the unwritten and informal rules and formal values that are shared by all within the organisation. An organisation having a positive corporate culture has several benefits, including an improved public image, possibly leading to an increase in sales and improved motivation and productivity of staff. Secondly, by beginning a new paragraph, which will focus on the three marks awarded for the KPIs relevant to positive corporate culture. As the question requires students to both identify and explain, Merely listing an indicator and providing a definition will not be sufficient to gain marks. This is due to it being required to relate these indicators to corporate culture. One mark is awarded per indicator that is correctly used. A failure to identify a relevant KPI will result in a loss of mark, and a failure to explain a relevant KPI, however, having identified a correct indicator, will also result in a loss of mark as the question has not been completed. An example response to this section is, as corporate culture is relevant to those within an organisation, the relevant key performance indicators would be those relating to the human resources function. Firstly, the results of staff satisfaction surveys, which is a series of set, consistent questions posed to employees by management relating to their happiness and expectations at work. This can indicate positive corporate culture if employees are seen to have high levels of satisfaction, especially in the areas of the extent to which the employees' needs and wants are being taken into consideration, and emphasis on teamwork. Secondly, is the rate of staff turnover, which refers to the number of staff members who leave the organisation and must be replaced. This can indicate a positive corporate culture if the organisation has low staff turnover rates, as if an organisation has a negative corporate culture, employees are unlikely to remain and instead may seek employment elsewhere. The corporate culture of an organisation can also be seen and evaluated by those outside the organisation, such as customers. Therefore, the third key performance indicator could be the results of a customer satisfaction survey. This is a set of consistent questions posed to customers by management to indicate their opinions regarding the organisation. If an organisation shows high levels of customer satisfaction, it tends to suggest that they also have a positive corporate culture, 
as customers typically choose organisations that have consistent and highly regarded values. Thirdly, the final paragraph should address the remaining marks to be awarded regarding the detailed analysis and appropriate management style. The most appropriate management styles, in this case, would be a consultative or participative style. However, a failure to justify the use of these styles will not result in full marks being awarded. Reference must be to a positive corporate culture throughout the discussion of the management style. For example, the management style most conducive to a positive corporate culture would be a consultative management style. This refers to one in which managers make decisions after conferring with employees. This style involves two-way communication between managers and employees. However, the decision-making power still rests with the management. This would be the most appropriate management style, as the two-way communication indicates that the organisation values the employee's input and opinions in decision-making, therefore leading to a greater likelihood of a positive corporate culture. The manager still having control over the decision-making also allows for rituals, rites and celebrations, such as employee of the month, to be implemented fairly and impartially, with the possibility of improving corporate culture. A consultative management style is also more likely to be received well by employees, as they are given a say, leading to improved attitudes of staff and a more positive corporate culture as a result. Ten mark questions can be time consuming, so it is important to remember this when answering them. Leave enough time to do them. However, don't forget about the other questions, as they too make up a significant portion of marks. Happy studying!